the tabs widget is super easy to use. You just click on a tab and it's going to show you the contents below and there's loads of settings and styling you can do. But what if you wanted to give the user another way of navigating? So rather than them always using the tabs at the top, what if I wanted them to also use a previous and a next button? So as I click here, it kind of moves around. And when I get to the end, that's it. It stops. And if I hit previous, it takes me back the other way. I can still click on the tab and I can still go backwards and forwards. This is really easy to do with a little bit of code. As far as the tabs go, there are no extra classes or IDs you need to add. You just go and build it out how you would normally. Look, even over here when we go to the tab, I'm not adding in any extra ID or anything whatsoever. The only thing you need to do is add in a HTML widget and there it is. That's the code you add in. You drop it in and it's going to give you this previous and next button. When it comes to styling those buttons, well, you can see it over there. Okay, I've kept it pretty simple. If you want to go and modify the border, the width, the colors, all of that. So if you want to have something extra, like a previous and next navigation on top of the tabs, because maybe some people don't realize I can click the tab. They might get to it and not realize, whereas the previous and next is a little bit more immediate. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.